On the last Friday of every month, a group of cyclists gathers to cruise the streets of Kansas City. Tonight, that ride takes on new meaning. A beloved bike rider who's normally front and center won't be there. KCTV5's Kelly Taylor joins us live from the Sunfresh in Westport. Kelly, at 5 o'clock, you told us how he was involved in a crash on Christmas Eve. He was, Brad. That crash actually happened about a mile and a half away from where we are right now. Cyclists, they are already showing up here for that critical mass. You can see a couple generous cyclists. They stopped and parked their bikes for us, but they got lights flashing on the tires, everything. They're all decked out with their lights so that they can have a pretty safe critical mass ride tonight to honor their friend Pablo. I'm crushed, but these guys are just, I mean, they're, they're devastated. They're angry. Um, they're, I mean, it's hurt because you just, the one guy that if you want to go ride, he's there. Christina Decker and her husband, shown here with Sanders, own Midwest Cyclery and are good friends and riding buddies of his. He just has a zest for life. The intersection where Sanders was hit while riding his bike on Christmas Eve is his normal route to and from home. It's also one of many very busy areas bikers would like to see made safer. There's just so many cars going on them and so fast. There are a lot of challenges with that particular intersection um, that lead to things like folks not having enough time to have a green light to cross the street. Eric Rogers is the executive director at Bike Walk KC. They're a nonprofit that works to make Kansas City a safer place to walk and bike. I would have to give us a D for bike lanes, unfortunately. Um, we don't have many, and the ones we do don't usually connect to each other, so we have a very isolated, scattered, System. Newly elected Councilman Eric Bunch represents the 4th District and says a couple years ago, Casey set out to update its master bike plan. It stalled a little, but he wants to revisit it. I've got an ordinance drafted, ready to, to go. I just need to start communicating with my colleagues on the council to say this is a this is a priority and we need to move forward and vote and, and approve the bike plan. He says another plan called the Midtown Complete Streets Plan looks at how to make streets like Broadway, 39th Street and Southwest Traffic Way better. That's something that we need to bring back to the light of day and have the rest of council look at it. Maybe maybe we adopt that through resolution, uh, but it's clear that following, following uh, Christmas Eve's crash with Pablo, we need to do something. And we're back here live at Sunfresh again, where these cyclists are starting to show up for that critical mass bike ride tonight. We did get an update on Pablo. He does have a few broken bones in that head injury that we told you about earlier at five o'clock. But um, we will be out here to get the start of what's happening for the critical mass tonight. Right now, live in Kansas City, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, we'll hope for a full recovery. Kelly, thank you.